Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video and it is WSW, the fourth episode of Wild Society Wrestling and not just any episode because we are at the Go Home Show, at the Go Home to our first ever WSW pay-per-view power play. So, you know what, let's, let's get right into it. I'm excited, I'm excited. Are you excited? You better be excited, because this is WSW Rampage. In our first pre show bout, it had a decent wrestling below. He, Aaron Stevens, defeats Extreme Tiger in 850 by Pinfall over Terminus. C plus 66. Aaron Stevens with an in ring performance of 69, while Extreme Tiger had an in ring performance of 54. No work improvements. Next. In our next pre show match, in a D plus 52, in the pre show battle that had decent wrestling but not in existent ground heat, Criminal Behavior defeated. The Von Erics in 6.34 when Chad Gaspar defeated Marshall Von Eric by pinfall with an STO. With a, with a STO. Jason Bull had an in performance of 60, Chad Gaspar 53, Ross 37, and Marshall 39. Yeah, and I think this should be our last pre show match 57 C minus. Actually, no, this is our second to last pre show match. Alex Shelley defeats Eli Drake in 9.53 by pinfall with a Shiranui. Uh, uh, Alex Shelley the better performer in that match. And in the last pre-show match in a 57.2 minus, Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Joey Ryan by pinfall, I mean by submission in 9.02 with a senior stretch. Zack Sabre Jr. with an injury performance of 60 and Joey Ryan 47. So that was all our pre-show matches, let's, let's see how the Go Home Show opens. 84B plus Shane McMahon once again opens up WSW Rampage and he says WSW's first ever pay-per-view power play is this Sunday this Sunday Kurt Angle will face Stu Sanders for the WSW World Heavyweight Championship and therefore to avoid any injuries I have given them both the day off today but don't worry we still have the most exciting wrestling product you could hope for, as Austin Aries competes in tonight's main event against Mr. Anderson. B plus 84, I, th I think I've already said that, but whatever. And this angle got the show off to a good start, and it got the crowd hotter, and it deserved better announcing. Next segment, 63C plus, uh, 65 our opening match gets a 63C in about that decent wrestling below heat. The Young Bucks defeated Bad Reputation in 938 when Matt Jackson defeated Tommaso Champa. Ugh, I can't read. I can't read today. I, when can I ever read? But by pinfall with a moonsault after a distraction from Eli Drake. Tommaso Champa was the weak link, straggler, uh, struggling to keep up with everyone else's in ring performance. Yeah, Eli Drake costing Bad Reputation the win there, of course. He has to, you know, find a partner to face, uh, to help him face bad reputation at power play. And yeah, all right, match to start it off. Not bad, not bad. And the next segment is Eli, uh, Eli Drake, thirty seven D minus, saying he's sorry for costing bad reputation the match, but he's found a partner and he's asking him to come out. And it's Zack Saber Jr. So at WSW power play it seems like we'll see the team of bad reputation face off against Eli Drake and Zack Sabre Jr. That will be an exciting match. Next in a bout for decent wrestling but little heat Chris Sabin defeated Joe, Rob uh, Joe Robinson in 606 by Pinfall with a cradle shock. 61C for that. Chris Sabin had an in ring performance of 64, while Joe Robinson had an in ring performance of 38, 39. And Joe Robinson debuted his old school face gimmick. It has gotten an initial rating of very good. That's very good. <laughs> oh god. Next segment D44. The Motor City Machine Guns uh, are in ring celebrating Saban's win as criminal behavior come out. Come out. Jason says, Well done, Chris. 
Really, that was a great performance. It was an, it was amazing, really. But it wasn't quite good enough. And Shad says, "You see, if it's your hundred, if that's your hundred percent, you'll be in the surprise. F uh, you'll be in for a surprise on Sunday, as those tag team titles will be around our waists. I mean, sure, you won, but that was so bad. It should, it should be illegal. See what I did there? Yeah." Criminal behavior and Motor City Machine Guns, of course, facing each other at Power Play to decide the first ever WSW Tag Team Champions. And next, in a 68C plus and a decent match, Mike Bennett defeated Matt Seidel in 13 to, uh, 27 by pinfall with a photo finish. During the match, we also had Aaron Stevens run in and attack Seidel. Decent match there, not bad, definitely not bad. The annual. The unwashed mass storyline continued, and Mike Bennett debuted a new spot. His in-ring psychology improved. That's that's great. That is good. 67 C plus promo from Aaron Stevens. Another loss for poor Matthew. It's a real shame you can't hang with the men in this company. And this Sunday, I will embarrass you so much that your face will be known around the world for all the wrong reasons. Aaron Stevens definitely, definitely, um, well, confident, confident ahead of his match, uh, with Matt Seidel this Sunday. Hopefully, for him, he, he can back up his words and win. Next. In a 73 B minus, and about to had decent wrestling but little heat, Ricochet defeated Jesse White in 655 by pinfall with a diving double knee drop. Ricochet and Jesse White have great chemistry and it showed in their performance and Ricochet had an in-ring performance of 78 while Jesse White had an in-ring performance of 43. That's a good match. That's a very good match for these two. Next segment, 73 B minus, we see a video hyping up the main event for this Sunday's pay-per-view as Kurt Angle faces Stu Sanders for the WSW World Heavyweight Championship. The video highlights both of the men and who they've defeated thus far on the road uh, to the tournament final. Who will win this Sunday and become the first ever WSW World Champion? Next segment, 60C, we see Ricochet backstage walking through a hallway as he is confronted by Mr. Anderson. Anderson says for Ricochet to get out of his way because he has a main event to compete in. It seems that Anderson walks away, but instead he attacks Ricochet and beats him down before really walking away for his match up, which is up next. 60C for that, not bad, not bad. And the main event gets a 82B, good match, very good match. And the battle had great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Austin Aries defeated Mr. Anderson in 2004 by pinfall with a brain buster after a distraction from Ricochet. Austin Aries sustained an Undisplaced mandibular oh god undisplaced mandibular fracture I think that is he had an in-ring performance of 76 and Mr. Anderson had an in-ring performance of 70 let's hope that's not a long-term injury because that's one of our key members of the roster there next segment as we end the show off with a 55 C minus Ricochet celebrates with um, Austin Aries as he finally got one over Mr. Anderson the show ends with both, both men standing, both men on standing, oh god, both men standing tall and celebrating with the fans. And we end the show off with a 78B, good show, and yeah, I guess I'll see you at the main title screen. We are back at the main title screen, we, screen? Screen. We are back at the main title screen, it seems, but yeah, we are back at the main title screen, and yeah, let's check out the emails we've got, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Orlando Col Colon extends deal with WWE. Austin Aries is injured, of course. Uh, WSW Rampage got a rating of 1.02. Uh, Orlando Colon have has um, extended his contract and epic. Yeah, whatever. Oh uh, God. Yeah, who cares about that? It's Epico. Um, I don't think Epico would become a star in this company personally. Uh, I, guys, sorry if you can hear any background noise. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have power play in two days, so that's exciting. Um, what? 
yeah, let's check uh, the injury, medical. 23 days, and it's, it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, could be worse, could be like a year. So, you know, kind of lucky that it's, not, it's only 22 days, but 22? 23, 23. Let's um, quickly auto push everyone, because, yeah. So, our main eventers now are. There's only, we've got only one main eventer now. Uh, face main eventer, now that Austin Aries is injured, which is Kurt Angle. The others are Aaron Stevens, Mr. Anderson, Mike Bennett, and Stu Sanders, who are all heels. Interesting. Uh, let's quickly check out the creative meeting. Uh, franchise players Kurt Angle, Stu Sanders, Aaron Stevens, Mr. Anderson, Mike Bennett. Next big things Nick Jackson, Hot Prospects, Zack Sabre Jr., Nick Jackson, Marshall Von Erich, and Ross Von Erich. Talk the talk Kurt Angle, Aaron Stevens, Austin Aries, Shane McMahon, and Stu Sanders. Uh, showstoppers Kurt Angle, Chris Sabin, Matt Sidal, Alex Shelley, and Aaron Stevens. Ring generals Kurt Angle, Stu Sanders, Chris Sabin, Matt Sidal, and Jay Briscoe. Uh, who is hot? Stu Sanders, Jason Paul, Zack Sabre Jr., Shad Gaspard, and Mike Bennett. Who is not? Jay Briscoe, Joey Ryan, Matt Sydal, and Mr. Anderson, Mark Briscoe. Hidden Gems, this usually takes a bit to load, but it should, there we go. Phil Shatter, Gunner of, Gunner, of course, Tyson Ducks, Ryan the Meth, who is Ziggler's brother, PJ Black, Justin Gabriel, Timmy F and Timothy Thatcher. Great. So, Power Play should be coming out soon. Make sure to stick around for that, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and bye!